Well, this year's wheat harvest finally coming to a close for almost everyone, and it's the smallest crop since 1966. KSN Zena Tahir is here to tell us about the challenges farmers were up against this year, how it could affect the wheat market. Craig, the Kansas Wheat Commission tells me this year the weather was not working in farmers' favor. Multiple factors led to smaller yields. The commission says that could make wheat more expensive. Wheat needs a lot of moisture when it's planted in the fall and actively growing in the spring. In the summer, it needs to be dry for harvesting. This year, the weather did the opposite of what was needed. The fall and spring were dry, making some crops so stunted, farmers abandoned them at three times the average rate across Kansas. Many acres of wheat in Kansas were just abandoned this year before we even got to May 1st. Then, as late May rolled around, things started to get wet. The heavy rains came during harvest time, when farmers needed fields to be dry. Every time it rains on a field of ripe wheat, it lowers the quality of that wheat. Harvest normally finishes up around the 4th of July. This year, crops were being picked into early August. On top of delaying the harvest, late rains fed into another problem. That means there wasn't a whole lot of population out there, not a lot of straw, so the weeds came. I would say the biggest issue was the weeds. When it started raining in June, it became a race to, to try to get your wheat harvested before the green weeds would grow up and take over the field. Farmer Martin Kirschen says he's worried about the future. The biggest concern is that it doesn't happen again next year. Kirschen says he will plant wheat again this coming season because it's been proven to be a beneficial crop that doesn't need too much moisture. Here for you, Zena Taher, KSN News 3.